What's going on everybody? Doing a video today, kind of a rant about fashion versus function maybe? Something like that? And uh, some just just general clothing EDC stuff. So uh, this is just a pair of jeans, some stuff. This is a Malkoff MDC double A. Uh, the Ruck, little razor blade thing. Uh, pretty slick. And of course the Sabenza 31 and small. Jeans. <clears throat> All right. So for me, clothes is not something that I'm, uh, I would say, good at. I've never been very good with fashion. My clothing choices were terrible growing up. And it wasn't until I got married that I really kind of started to get clothes that fit correctly and that uh, looked halfway decent. And thanks to my wife, who helps me care about that kind of thing. Anyway, so... As I start getting into clothes that, that I are fashionable and that fit, I started trying to decide, okay, how is this going to work with EDC? And a lot of times these clothes that are fashionable are not clothes that are very practical. Um, let me move this out of the way here. So uh, these are a um, American Eagle jeans. I don't know what version, sorry. Um, it's not really the point. I'm not going to be reviewing pants uh, and clothing. Per se. Anyway, this is kind of a stretchy jean material. It's a slim fit. Um, they look good. They've got all the, you know, in style things. The wash is nice. They're very comfortable. This is actually a pair of jeans that I enjoy wearing, uh, which is saying something because I've always hated wearing jeans. Um, so I got these jeans, enjoyed wearing them. The pockets are, are your typical up front pockets. They're not super deep. You got the coin pocket and you got this pocket. Obviously you got back pockets. So for me personally, these work great. I don't need mag pockets and side pockets and pouches. I'm not really into that kind of attire and I don't carry that amount of, you know, that much gear. Um, so these worked out well. The, the other problem along with uh, just not being very fashionable and all this is I really need like a 3029 ish and it's almost impossible to find any name brand tactical clothing in 3029 like Vanquest or 511 or anybody that makes any decent clothing that is geared more towards EDC and gear and stuff I, it, I don't, I can't find, uh, stuff that fits, so it kind of, it kind of stinks. Uh, everybody else that's in my predicament will know what that's like. Um, so, anyway, I get these jeans, my wife approves, I like them, they're okay. They're not something I wear around the house for fun, because it's just, it's jeans, but whatever. And, so we were going out the other night, and, uh, I was taking the Sabenza, and... I don't remember which light it wasn't this one, but, um, whatever, a light, and I ended up getting, uh, my first snail trail on my Spenza, so this is my Spenza 31, I got it from a, I got it actually second hand, but it was basically new, guy didn't really use it, so it looked immaculate, I mean, it looks great, photos are good, I got a little tiny mark right there, there you can see uh but that was it until i um the other day and i don't know how well or if it will even come up because i've kind of rubbed it out uh let's see focus 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 okay you can see right where that blue a little bit right in here and it kind of wraps around it actually you can't really see it but it goes straight across the handle so this is what i consider the first snail trail on this Sabenza, and there's a lot of people out there that uh, the Chris Reeve guys will say the s snail trails make it look nice, gives it character, and uh, I don't really, I guess I do usually baby my stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm not in a p uh, position where I have to use and abuse my gear. That's just um, just the way uh, I use my stuff right now, and so. For the most part, my stuff stays pretty clean, um, and this is a $400 knife, so uh, banging it up isn't 
like I'm not going to do it on purpose. It's not something like, oh my goodness, it doesn't, you know, if I don't use and abuse it, then it wasn't worth it. Uh, that's not really the way that I view it. Um, however, it doesn't really kill me that there's some snail trails. First one's there, so now uh, it kind of broke in, I guess you could say. Uh, the problem is, the reason that I'm making this video is how that snail trail got on there. So, uh, I clipped this to uh, my pocket, uh, like so. I'll bring this up so we can see here. There we go. And you know, I'm I'm getting ready to go. I usually have my light knife on the right pocket. I kind of switched this up recently, but knife's on the right now, and my light would be uh, over here, you know, on the left side. There you go. And then something like this or whatever, you know, you can actually fit almost in the coin pocket, or you can drop it down in your pocket, whatever. I'm going to leave him out for right now. So I have something similar to this, and I'm I'm going to get my shoes on and so I sit down on an exercise ball because we have those sitting around the house and they're a lot of fun to sit on and I'm going to put on my shoe and I hear this scraping sound and I was like oh crap what was that and I pulled out my sabenza and sure enough there I had the snail trail and I was like are you kidding me I got my first snail trail on my $400 knife while it was in my pocket and I was sitting down. I just was sitting down. The knife didn't fall out of my pocket. I didn't drop it. I didn't brush up against anything. I merely sat down to put on shoes. And it kind of uh, made me realize that these pants, nice, stylish, you know, American Eagle, very fashionable, good wash, nice and comfy. These things are not, they're not designed for EDC. Like, so check this out. Let me get this light out of here so that it doesn't uh, weight it down. All right, so my knife is sitting in here. And when I go to sit down, the way that uh, the pockets are and everything, it the, the knife didn't come out, but it kind of brushed past this little pokey button thing. And that's how I got the snail trail. Now, I don't know anything about clothing. You guys can inform me. What the heck is the point of this stupid little button? Other than to give your knife snail trails and to look... Uh, merely to look something. I don't even know if it looks good. I mean, it's just the way that they're designed. They got the little buttons you know nothing clips on these there's no practical function that i can tell unless it's somehow holding the seams together which again i this is where i think fashion you know this this fancy looking button is not very practical because any knife that you put in here as you're moving around sitting down getting in and out of a car it's gonna rub up against this button so you better not put anything in your pocket that you uh care about if you have you know your thousand uh, dollar norseman or whatever which uh, i don't have anymore uh and you are it is a safe queen but you want to carry it uh this right here will ruin you like this is just kind of dumb i don't really get it but it's just kind of a rant that uh pants that are are, are nice and that are fashionable and that fit and that, you know, are, are something that uh, you look halfway decent in. Just do dumb things. Like, what? I don't get it. Why has it just got to be there? And it's like, it's like a little jabbing piece of metal. It's just ready for any knife you put in your right, you know, pocket. And it's not like I can put a light in here because it does the same thing. It, it'd end up just pushing up against the light. Which, those of you that don't care if your gear has... Uh, marks and whatnot it's it, it wasn't a big deal i just i i just couldn't believe it i was like my first scratch is pants sitting down i mean come on people so if there's anybody that has recommendations for uh, shorter people clothing that is not atrociously um tack to cool and just uh completely uh, unfashionable that that I could look into feel free to 
leave a link or something, uh, a brand. Vertex, uh, there's a ton of them, but they just, a lot of them don't have the size I need. So anyway, just kind of a rant, you know, basically um, uh, fashion is not practical and that's pretty much given and nobody would argue that, I think. They don't design things for, uh, for function, they design it for looks um, and that's pretty much it. But kind of stinks because I like to carry my knife in my right pocket now. Um, I used to be a left pocket person, but I was working on switching and I mean, just, it's kind of irritating uh, every time you sit down to um, uh, hit your gear. And uh, so there you go, not a crazy long video, just kind of a rant. Um, if you know of any good clothing to check out that, um, might be better for EDC people, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope it was entertaining. And if you have a pair of pants with one of these buttons, make sure you don't put your nice knife in there because uh, it'll break it in for you real quick. Thank you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.